Yeah, I, I think there were two things. You know, I'm proud of our guys. You know, you, you got to tip your cap. Phoenix is a really good team. Uh, the, there's a reason they have 60 wins and, and they have the best record in the NBA. Uh, they're a top two offense, a top three defense. Uh, we fought, we gave ourselves a chance. So I'm proud of the fact that we played hard uh, and, and, and put us ourselves in a position to win. Um, but the turnovers, 17 for 30 points, uh, against the best team in the NBA, you can't beat yourself and them in the same night. Just impossible. Uh, fourth quarter, six turnovers for 12 points. Each possession matters, man. Like, you, we have to capitalize. We got to get a shot up at least. And when we did, we were pretty good. I mean, we scored 130 points tonight. We shot 59 from the field. I'm getting old. I need my reading glasses. Um, so we did a lot of good things. The other area, Mike, that really hurt us tonight, we were so undisciplined with our fouling. We fouled the jump shooter 10 times tonight for 17 free throws. Play good defense. Play good defense. Show your hands foul. Play good defense. He raises up. You step under the shooter. Three free throws. Like, to beat that team, you have to play almost perfect basketball. We did it for stretches tonight, but down the stretch, they showed why they're the best team in the NBA. Well, you know, it, it started early, TJ. I mean, we, we let him get going uh, with some real uh, a lack of discipline at times. You know, he's a great player. He's a runoff. He's a guy where you have to meet him early. Your pickup points are higher, and you want to take away his airspace. And he had 15 points, I think, in the first quarter, if I'm not mistaken. And we were running him out, uh, running him out uh, to, to three-point line like he wasn't a shooter. And I called a timeout. I said, well, he's got 15 of their 21 points. Like, give him the attention he deserves and requires. And I'd say being around the league for 20 plus years, once a guy gets on fire, it's really hard to put that fire out. Aaron Gordon, admirable effort. He didn't start on him. He went to him as the game went along. Um, they run screens, pick and rolls, and uh, he's a tough cover. So 49 points to him, obviously not good enough uh, on the defense. We gave up 140 points. You know what I mean? So it was a, they're a great offense, but you know, we, we got to be able to take something away and we didn't do that. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, you know, I put him back in for Jeff late just because uh, he's having a really good night. I mean, he wound up with 23 points. And it wasn't just tonight. You know, his recent body of work is very impressive for a rookie. Um, and, and just to give Joker some more weapons out there. If they want to shrink the floor, double team, you know, Bones can step up and make a big shot. He's not afraid. So a night like tonight, a night like in Cleveland closing the game, um, you can't put a dollar sign on that. Those, those experiences are invaluable for a young, maturing player. Yeah, I think so. I think it's great. I mean, you know me, I love it. You know, as long as it stays above board, uh, which I thought it did tonight, um, you know, but a lot, of, a lot of words are being spoken, and some people take offense to what's being said. And, you know, uh, obviously they swept us last year in the playoffs. Um, their fans represented them very well tonight. Um, but, yeah, this is a, a team that we've had a lot of close contests with, and there's, I think there's definitely some animosity. But um, that's what this time of year should be about. I mean, they, they had the same thing last night with Minnesota. So uh, I'm all for it. You know, th th this time of year, TJ should be – uh, every possession matters, every quarter matters, every game matters. And with that comes, you know, physicality, aggression, and some people may not like that or be very comfortable with that. Yeah, I mean, like, think about the offensive numbers we put up. I mean, they're a great defensive team on the season. Um, and for us to be able to score 130 and, and have the efficiency across the board is really impressive. Um, unfortunately, they're a, they're a top two or three offense, and we didn't have any impact on that side of the ball, Ryan. But um, I, I mean this, like, you're never happy. There's no moral victories this time of year. Um, but I was really pleased with, with how we played and the fact that we put ourselves in position to to – compete and, and beat this team down the stretch. Came up short, and we can learn from it. I think failure is a great teacher if you're willing to learn from it. And tonight, 
the turnovers, the fouling are two things that stick out to me before I've watched the film that did not allow us to get this win. And, uh, you know, we have OKC coming in here to close out this four-game homestand. Um, they came in here and beat us last time badly. And so hopefully we can find a way to, to close out this four-game homestand two and two and, uh, and get ready to go out on that road. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. You know, I'm lucky. I have a lot of people in my life that um, care about me, but also are, are not afraid to be honest. And people that I respect. And, you know, you look around the NBA landscape this year, what happened to us against Boston has happened to every other great team in the league this year. Miami's number one on the East. They were down by 40 uh, one game. Phoenix has been down big. So, um, that was a disappointing night, but it was a, a uh, it wasn't who we are. It wasn't a repetition of this is becoming a habit. It was one really bad game. We responded against the Clippers, thankfully, and then I thought we responded again tonight. And again, they're a hell of a basketball team, tip your cap, but we have to find ways as we come down the stretch with eight games to go to just be smarter and more disciplined and more focused for as close to 48 minutes as possible. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.